Hi everyone. Are you a mom that wonders what are the causes of estrangement? Now, obviously this is not an inclusive list, but this is um, some good information on what could be some possible options of why you are estranged right now. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name is Sally Harris and I'm a mom who walked this difficult road with my own daughter for over a decade. And when her life spiraled, so did mine. And I promise you, it does not have to be that way. And I just want to talk today about what are some causes of estrangement. Again, this is not an all-inclusive list because every family is different. This is not a one-size-fits-all. However, maybe this will jog your memory or, or think of some things that could have been the cause. But regardless, if maybe you're a mom that's just struggling right now with trying to navigate, maybe you're not fully estranged, but you're trying to navigate the relationship because it's kind of rocky right now with um, whether there's addiction or there's mental health issues or whatever the case may be, or you're just not getting along with your adult child. If that's the case, this really um, may stand out to you as well. So a couple of things um, that's really important is, you know, when a mother is estranged from her son or daughter, there really is, in my opinion, no greater pain. And I want to acknowledge that because as I said, I've been there. I know what that feels like. And that's why I have the honor of helping moms now. Um, and I don't take that lightly because I know it is a very serious pain. And I do my best um, in my coaching to help moms feel that they're not alone in this because they're not, as you know, I mean, how many of you watch these videos? Um, there's, there is such a need for it, um, unfortunately. So in regards to what are some of the causes now, some of that can be, maybe you just have differing, differing expectations, right? I talked recently about, you know, other reasons, you know, for estrangement or what that can look like, but you know, ca actual causes sometimes, as your adult child grows up, maybe they just realize also that they don't need us as much as we need them. And it's a hard reality, but they are trying to build their own life, right? And here, and we as moms many times come in and try to make that their new family, our family and kind of try to dictate like what that family should look like and how they do things and how they raise their kids and all of the things. And some of you may or may not do that. However, I want you to remember that any type of change in family dynamics, you know, whether it be life transition, like maybe they got married or they have a spouse that it's, or a girlfriend, boyfriend that is, you know, really causing havoc in your family. Maybe it's their career, maybe, maybe they're a new mom or a new dad. Um, one of the biggest things that can cause estrangement in, in those life family dynamics is us being critical, us um, judging them for their lifestyle choices, for their spouse, for, you know, offering unsolicited advice, which I was so guilty of that. Um, and I promise you, when you learn to not give that unsolicited advice, it is so freeing. It is so freeing and sometimes you have to bite your tongue, but it's okay. It's okay. They respect you more when you're not giving unsolicited advice. And actually when you're not giving advice, they tend to come to you more and actually want your advice right over time. And so I know I'm probably ruffling some feathers here and that's okay because I can tell you that the, some people that spoke truth to me during the hardest times of my life are the people that got me to the other side. Those are the people that I may have been mad at at the moment, but they spoke life and truth to me and things that I needed to hear that I didn't want to hear, right? So I want you to ask yourself, are you being critical? Are you being judgmental? Are you doing these things? You know, it's normal to have these feelings of sadness and guilt and anger and, you know, loss. And we want to, you know, have that close relationship like maybe we had before. And it doesn't mean that you can't, it's just going to look different and you have to be okay with it looking different. And so this, these are kind of some tips for, like I said, the mom that isn't fully estranged, but they're trying to navigate that. But what happens when you are, you know, when you are fully estranged, like I've always said, if you have made your reach outs and you have tried to contact and there's no response, 
there's really nothing you can do in the moment. So your job is to take care of you. And that may seem counterproductive or selfish or whatever you think, but honestly, it's the best thing you can do for you and your whole family and the people that love you in your life. And we want to be able to rebuild those bridges and connections as we're able, but without being healthy ourselves. Because what is the alternative? And I always tell the moms in my group coaching program too, sometimes I'll say, you know, you can do that. You can choose to think on the negative or you can choose to think on the positive. You can choose to, to do the healthy thing for you or stay stuck in the pit. You get to choose, but you know, what's the alternative? You get the, you're, it's your choice. I can't make you do anything. Nobody can make you do anything. And so I just want you to know that by you taking care of you is the best gift that you can also give your child because when they do come back into your life because of a life pivot, pivotal moment maybe that they have in their own life or maybe they have just give, stopped the resentment or stopped the anger or stopped whatever got the help that they needed, when that day happens, where are you going to be? Because I know a lot of you are like me and you were not in a healthy place. And so, and I say that out of love because trust me, I mean, I, I'm the first to say I was in a pit with a wine bottle. Like that was me because I didn't know how to get out. And so I'm lending you that helping hand to get out of that pit. You don't belong there. And as much as you probably think your child doesn't care, I believe deep down, deep down they probably do, right? And so do it for whoever. I'm hoping you can do it for yourself, but do it for whoever is gonna give you motivation to get you started. So if you're a mom that is looking for a support group to continue like this journey, what I'm just saying, all these things that you need to do to you know, just improve your own life in the process of waiting. And I don't mean wait, stand still, do nothing. That's not waiting. Well, I guess it is. But we want you to move forward in the waiting, not just stay stagnant. So with that said, if that's, if that's you and you're interested in a group concept, um, the first step to that is the discovery call. And that's the link below. And that's a consultation with me where I can evaluate, you know, your current situation, um, talk a little bit more about the group and see if it's a good fit. Um, and if it is, then we could go that direction. Otherwise, sometimes people need one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes people need other things. And that's totally fine. But there's one way to find out and that's to click that discovery call link and we can, uh, you can get that time set up with me and we can talk through some options. So I hope that helps you and have a great day.